Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crimes. I'm giving you this one from the files of my father, the fat man. We was talking after Lawrence and Fat Steve had had they falling out and they beef. And both of them wound up in federal penitentiary along with Lawrence's brother, KK. And me and my father was talking and he was telling me about their father, Big Nose. He was a motherfucker in the projects. Big Nose was one of my father's number one motherfuckers that was moving that project, that was moving that product for him, you understand. So Big Nose was Lawrence and KK's daddy. You understand? So when I be telling you about how the game regenerate and move on from one click to the next or one father to the next son and one son to the next, you understand? So this is just stories when I be telling you all there's so many deep stories like how he was telling me about Big Nose, Lawrence and KK's father and how they had the team down there, the crowd pleasers. And Cyrus Mann used to play on it, the ex-NBA. But at this time, he hadn't even made it to the NBA when he was playing on my father's team in the projects, the crowd pleasers. And as I say to you all, when you're looking at stories and stories being told, like when I tell you, like a person, James Costin, I remember him from Highland Park, living next door to Bill and Shauna and John and them and his sister, Dot. I remember all them well, and I seen Dot and Shauna this summer that just passed by at the new little spot on Woodward, the little Woodward bar. So I stop in town and check in when I'm in town, and I happen to see them for the Highland Park reunion and that type of thing, and it was nice to see all of everybody's all right. But then I also want to say, the last time I did see James Costin, we was in Ohio and our sons, or somebody for his family, my son was playing. And my son was from Southfield and their son was from the projects. And the projects wiped us out. They blew my son them the fuck out the water, you understand? And I see James Costin there, that's the last time I see him. We spoke and smiled at each other, so. I hope he's still doing all right down there, wherever he may be, you understand? And like I say, the Garrett family was from the Projects 5-0 and all of them, you understand? You know, so you have to remember that the Jackson, the fat man, Eddie Jackson, was well known in the Projects and a friend, a very good friend to most of them in the Projects. So when I be telling stories and somebody will say, how about the beef between world and Demetrius, I'm like, those are two men. See, they was so close to my father. That's something you just can't get in. You just, it's going to work itself out. You understand? So those type of things, I don't even speak on because both of them was loved. And when both of them loved, you just have to stand out the way. And whatever happened between two men happened between two men. You understand? Although you love both of them, you understand? Just like I say, I was a friend of Fat Steve, but he loved Big Nose and, and, and Lawrence and KK and them because they was close to Big Nose. Not that he didn't like Fat Steve. He didn't like the beef at all. You know, he wanted to see all the brothers getting money and being at peace. He used to always say, cap the pistols, you understand? Put a cap on the pistol because it costs too blood. is too expensive. You understand? Blood is way too expensive. And this was just a nightcap I'm giving y'all and was giving y'all about how Lawrence and KK and everything revolved. You understand? Big Nose Day Father was very close to my father. Dear, dear, dear. And he said that when Lawrence and KK came into jail with him, that they was they, his kids. And you understand? That's a hell of a thing. And then Fat Steve coming in. He got to meet him and talk with my man. So it was a wonderful time, and EJ was just one who would reach out and touch all. And I'm going to just keep you the stories coming, and I thought I'd just give you a little nightcap for the night and say thank you to all of y'all who might be up with this coronavirus and can't sleep. I see the radio is just having a jamboree, you understand, throwing everything. 
So I just thought I'd give y'all a little nightcap and say good night. Subscribe and thank you to you all. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe and share and take a look at my link. I appreciate it. Peace.